jamming Dumas. It was a, a, a black man in the Salem area who worked in the penitentiary for uh, almost 20 years. And uh, he was uh, racially assaulted by an inmate who was known for his racist activities mm -hmm. and had been put out of the yard because he's always trying to incite some kind of racial conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Domas, as a guard, uh, in order to try to stop a race riot, took this guy down and removed him from the population. Mm -hmm. The state felonized the black guard saying mm. he was too, I don't know, in his defense of the attack was being too tough. Hmm. So here's a guy who gave 20 years of employment in the penitentiary hmm. and the state decided it was going to stand up for the racist provocateur hmm. and took the position of the white supremacist against the black state employee. Now is this recorded? Oh, this, this uh, it's recorded our, at our commission. It's a commission. But those are the kinds of things I was looking into, right, right, right. and those Makes sense. and uh, those aren't the kinds of things I felt because the Who governor wants wanted exposed. Well, um, the governor's office misused the Black Commission. It claimed that the Black Commission stood for things that the Black Commission didn't even know the governor was claiming it stood for. Hmm. And the governor got the uh, Black Commission involved in a political campaign in, like, was it uh, Illinois? I need to be refreshed, but, um, and, uh, and we said, uh, Governor, we didn't take a stance against anybody in any campaign. Why would you send out a letter? with your name on it, the state seal, and claimed that the Oregon Commission on Black Affairs had taken a position it didn't know anything about. Governor Kitzhaber. Yes. And uh, we said, you don't, you don't disrespect people like that. If you mm -hmm. want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. You want to persuade us that this is a position we need to take, we're open, we'll listen. But they were misrepresenting mm -hmm. the authority and the integrity of a commission and we called them on it. I said, don't say we said things that we didn't say. Don't well, say clear. we... Well, clear now. Nah, what comes to mind right off the bat? Well, okay, now you've gone to the governors who happened to be african Americans. You had Margaret Carter. You had Jackie Winters. You had A.V.L. Gordley. And then you had Lou Frederick. Was well, he there? Well, that that Lou serves on the commission. He what? He's on the Oregon Commission. Was he there like, during that particular time? During he, my time when I was he there. He was there? Yes. What, what was his reaction? He's my representative. He, I get the feeling that uh, uh, Representative Frederick doesn't want to engage. Mm -hmm. uh, he witnessed the lynching. He witnessed the lynching. He witnessed the lynching. I don't know if he was a part of it or not. Did anyone go? Uh, did anyone actually sought you out? You know, I'm, uh, the individuals that I like, Margaret, Margaret Carter, or if not that, Avell, or, or Jackie Winters. I mean, they're, they're, they're... No, uh, I don't feel like that. I think that the political... There were a couple people that... Uh, there was an incident. Remember uh, uh, Derry Jackson? I remember Derry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at the Portland Public School. I'm very familiar with that incident. Okay. okay. Well, they could get so-called black leaders to come up and jump on him. And that was kind of what happened to us. Hmm. There was so much of that. It's a, it's a, Comments, public comments by uh, was it Catherine Sadat. How I got yeah, into Catherine the commission in the first you know, place was there was a story in the Oregonia newspaper about a black man who had been racially assaulted in Redmond, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And an hour after r the racial assault, they found his body run over by a freight train in downtown Redmond. Hmm. And I was saying, wow, hmm. there's got to be more to this story. Mm -hmm. And that's what I approach the Oregon Commission on Black Affairs and say, are you aware of this? Uh, is the state looking into it? The state police are looking into it? Are we calling in the FBI? <laughs> yeah, do something. Do something. Well, well, <laughs> you know, yeah. come, come up. Did they take the case? I don't think they ever found out how the, if they did, they didn't report it. How this black man had got on the railroad tracks and run over by a train. They do know that an hour prior to 
him being on the uh, train tracks, he had been racially assaulted in a, a public place. Hmm, hmm. Well then, okay.